What a turnaround. What a story. What a fairy tale. But it's about to come true. They're getting ready down in that clubhouse. Vince Lloyd is already down there. Here's Mazzilli, the pinch hitter, batting left-handed against Sutcliffe. Low outside of all. Lee Mazzilli. Right-hander ready, Sutcliffe kicks and fires. Low outside of all. And Lou Boudreau, who had the signs painted to count down the magic number, is getting ready to throw number one away and put up a zero. Wouldn't that be nice? Swinging foul out of play up to the left. It'll be great to take down that number one. And we have a surprise for our fans back in Chicago. When we get back to Chicago, we're going to... Well, we'll have a surprise. I'm not going to say It'll anything. It'll be Friday. You look right up in the booth, and Lou will unveil it. Fouled into the screen. Two balls, two strikes. What a game Sutcliffe has pitched. Uh, just a tremendous game. Two balls, two strikes. And the pitch on the way. Just outside, and boy, that was borderline. Sutcliffe wanted that corner call, didn't get it. He's gone full with Lee Mazzilli. Lead-off batter Joe Erslich, who has the only two pirate hits, due up next. Here's the pitch, swinging, fly ball, playable, left center, Bob Denier there, squeeze it, Bobby, two away. And now, Cub fans everywhere, we are down to an out. You realize that the Pirates have not left a man on base thus far? That's right, because when Arcelic tripled in the fourth, he scored. In the sixth inning, when he had a drag bunch single, he got picked off. Sutcliffe has not walked anybody. He has struck out eight. Here's the pitch, and a strike call to Joe Arcelic. And the Cub fans pulling on every pitch now. No balls, one strike. Two away, nobody on. He's retired the last eight to face him. Here's the pitch on the way. Outside at the letters. Count is even to the ball and a strike. No matter where the pitch is, when they don't get the call, the crowd's moan now. The fans standing up in mass right here. Isn't there that. something to do it on the road and yes. have to have security to keep the Cub fans off the field? Yes, indeed. Great tribute to those fans. A ball and a strike. The windup. The pitch. Did he go? They're asking. Yes, Third, he did. Yeah. Third base umpire Eric Red rings up the strike. And it's one ball and two strikes. Jody Davis asked for the appeal. Lee Wire called for it. Eric Craig says yes. And it's one ball and two strikes. We may be down to a pitch for a division title. The wind and the one-two pitch on the way. Strike there three. It is. Oh, there the it game is. is over. The Cubs have won it. Yes, sir. The Cubs have won the game. The Cubs have won the division. Look at a Bob Sutcliffe, a two-hitter. A two-hitter on a big, big game. And as I said a few minutes ago, Lou, the biggest game of his life. No doubt about it, Milo. And I'm oh so happy. You did a great job all year. We'll continue so. And to be part of this victory, it's really an honor. Sutcliffe wins his 20th game of the year. His 16th as a Cub. And Bedlam has broken loose on the AstroTurf at Three Rivers as the Chicago Cubs, put together by Dallas Green, managed magnificently by Jimmy Fry, handled dutifully by his great band of coaches, have made it all happen in 1984. The Cubs a winner. And the Cubs now get a salute from the big message board here. Good luck in postseason play. They know now that they will meet, meet the San Diego Padres. And Lou Boudreau has taken the big number one down. It's over. The Cubs have won the game. They've won the division. And now they can relax for a few days before starting to tune it up for the playoffs against the San Diego Padres. The final score, as the Cubs have all disappeared into the clubhouse, the Chicago Cubs four, the Pittsburgh Pirates one.
Now Tom at Home has a special message for students at accredited colleges and universities. If you need a student loan to continue your education, Tom at Home would be happy to help. Tom, an equal opportunity lender, has designated $10 million for student loans this year. You may be eligible for one of these loans. Even if the fall term tuition is fully paid, if you attend a college or university in Illinois, or if you're self-supporting and have lived in Illinois at least six months before starting your studies. So continue to enjoy the excitement and thrills and really revel in this great cup victory, but don't forget to make the necessary preparations for the coming school year. If you think you might qualify for a student loan, check with the financial aid counselor at your school. And if you're eligible, contact the Tallman Home Office nearest you. And right now, Tallman with you salutes the division champion Chicago Cubs. Hi, this is Brian Bashnagel of the Chicago Bears. And in the past, you've heard of other so-called sports celebrities talk about Glenmark meat products. But in the fast action sport of football, I need a hearty meal to fill me up. So I reach for a Glenmark third pounder in a four pound box. The new Glenmark third pounder is 100% pure beef and it's the biggest burger on the market today. So look for the big four pound red and black box at Jewel and other fine food stores and taste the quality of Glenmark meat products. Here's news, Lou. You can trade in your car at Budget Rent-A-Car. Rent-A-Car? Buy a car. From Budget Car Sales. You can buy a car, trade in your car, and only 10% down. Oh, I want to tell you, to do it on the road and have this kind of a following, Lou, is just magnificent. Well, it's great. Absolutely great. We were hoping we could do it in Pitt in St. Louis, uh, where it was closer for the Chicago Cup fans to be, and all our Southern Illinois Cup fans would be there to celebrate. But here in Pittsburgh, quite a ways from Chicago, the Chicago Cup fans have put on quite an enthusiastic celebration. Well, good kid, let's salute these fans down here. They are great. They have come a long way, so many of them to come and see their Cubs. And boy, it's great that they could be here to see the Cubs clinch it here tonight. And the Chevrolet player of the game, I don't think there's any doubt. No doubt about it. He's just done a tremendous job all year. Since joining the Cubs, I'd have to say the one finger that you'd have to point to, to the individual that is more responsible than anybody else, and there's been a lot of them, but he's the one man that has won this championship for the Chicago Cubs, and that's Rick Sutcliffe. And his 16 wins don't tell the whole story because no. there were so many big games that he pitched along the way. And